Think about it. Right on the beach, ocean breezes, blue skies, seagulls, all yours for the taking. It's a timeshare. Well, it's called a timeshare. But the truth is, for the two weeks you're at the condo, you're not sharing anything. You're not sharing the bathroom. You're not sharing the toaster. Nothing. Not a zip. You are the mistress of all you survey. <laughs> My nephew looked up the neighborhood on the computer. Your nephew? Mrs. Darby. He said the condo was in a bad neighborhood. Relax. You're right. You're right. The condo is in a rather poor, majority black neighborhood. And you know what? I'm glad you brought it up. Seriously. Otherwise, I might have done something that I'd be ashamed of later. And that would be to sell you that timeshare. You would not feel safe there. No, I wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. How could you? Now, we all know, and I say this at the risk of sounding a little racist, black dudes love white women. Love them. Now, I don't know if it's genetic or if it's society. I mean, we can argue nature versus nurture all day, but it's a scientific fact that black men can't get enough of white women. And don't think that a woman of your age would be safe from their advances. No man. Right. These big black bucks don't care whether you're young or old, skinny or fat, walking or with two wrinkled stumps right below the knees. They want your white flesh. They want it bad. Right. Truth be told, I'm part black myself. And if it wasn't for my wife, I'd be bending you over the desk doing your doggy style right now. That's right. I can just imagine you there, all alone in that big condo. A wash in a sea of Negro cock. I'll, I'll take it. Smart move. Just sign your Jane Hancock right here on the dotted line. You can't go in there. <laughs> here you go. Stand men. I'll be with you gentlemen in a second. Go on, sign it. Stand men. You're under arrest for fraud. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. It's just a little mix. Go on, sign it. Sign it, you white Jezebel. I'll call now. You guys are going to regret this. Call my Madam Foreman, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Yeah, please hand it to the bailiff. Will the defendant please rise? Madam Foreman, how do you find the defendant? We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. What? Thank you, Madam Foreman. That bitch! Oh, no, Stanley, please, quiet, quiet. Sentencing will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. What the fuck just happened in there? You lost, Stanley. I didn't lose. You're the lawyer. You lost. I'm truly sorry. Damn it, man. I'm rich. I wanted some of that OJ justice. Maybe the judge will give you probation. No. In this state, first degree fraud carries a mandatory minimum of three to five years. I got it. We bribed the judge. I'm not gonna bribe the judge. Bribe him. I'm not gonna bribe him. Bribe him? Oh, please. Well, I'm not gonna bribe him. Bribe him! No, no, bribe no, bribe no! Him. I told you, I don't practice that kind of law, and I never will. You wanna bribe the judge? You be my guest. I'm sure any shyster on the street will be happy to do it for you. Mal? You're fired. Mr. Popper, is your client ready for sentencing? He is, Your Honor. Do you have anything you'd like to say before the court passes sentence? Your Honor, my client has been convicted of fraud in the first degree, a crime of which he is innocent. <laughs> but even if he were guilty and his customers were defrauded, isn't it better that Mr. Minton, as a resident of Los Angeles, received the money, thereby keeping it in the community, as opposed to some gypsies or traveling Mexicans who would have taken the money out of the community? Please take that into consideration. Yeah, Mr. Minton, 
You are hereby sentenced to serve a term of no less than three years at the Verlaine State Correctional Facility. Now, normally your sentence would begin immediately. However, I'm going to delay your incarceration for six months so that you may reorganize the charity that you have established to teach music to retarded children. Thank you, Judge. Yeah, court is adjourned. Teach music to retarded children? That sounded good at the time. I thought you were gonna bribe them. I did. Hundred grand in cougar hand doesn't go too far nowadays. Do we win? No. I don't get it. We bribe the judge and I still get a three-year sentence? That was mandatory. The judge couldn't fix that. Now you got six months to set your affairs in order. My affairs are already in order. My legal opinion is that you take a Brazilian vacation permanently. That sounds like fun. I can't do that. Those crew grants were the last liquid asset I had. The rest of my money's frozen in the bank. I'm not gonna run away and leave seven million dollars behind. Well, Stan, my old man had a saying. You walk through a locker room, you're gonna see some dick. What's that supposed to mean? It means you rip off enough people, eventually you're gonna go to jail. Well, thanks, that's really comforting. Hey, I'm a crooked lawyer. I know I'm going to jail someday. You don't see me crying about it. <laughs> Stan, slow down, you're gonna choke. I gotta eat now. I hear that prison food is real crap. I'm real glad we have six months together before you have to go to, you know. Tell me about it. I could be in jail right now. That popper's one hell of a lawyer. I'm gonna be awfully lonely while you're gone. I know, sweetheart. But I think I get conjugal visits. I can probably stick it to you once a month or so. That's pretty good, huh? Oh, sure, that's great. But I was thinking, mm -hmm. maybe we could do something now so I wouldn't be so lonely later. Like what? Like, maybe we could make a baby. Mindy, are you crazy? No, I just... I'm only gonna be gone three years, five at the max. What are we gonna do with the kid when I get out? And give it up for adoption? That's just cruel. I thought maybe we could keep it. Mindy, how many times have we gone over this? You know, it's just selfish to bring a child into this world. A world full of suffering and hunger and war. It's just selfish. I know. You know, plus, my kid would totally cramp our lifestyle. We couldn't go on vacation when we wanted. They break stuff, they cry all the time. You'd get stretch marks? That's right, stretch marks. Scary stuff, huh? I just let you walk all over me. Oh, Mindy, come on. Okay, Mindy, you can get a dog. After I leave. Here are the sticks. Not as good, but it'll have to do. Really? It'll be 75 cents. Good deal. Keep change. Oh. <laughs> ah, you know that, honey. Do you got a problem? No, no, I... I was just wondering. You've been to prison, right? You do have a problem. No, I... I'm going to prison. But I've never been there before, and I was just thinking maybe you could give me some pointers. I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Just for talking. How much time did you get? Three to five. Where at? Verlaine. Verlaine? And that's fucked, Stan. 
Cars just don't give a damn. They let the cons beat the shit out of one another all day. How am I gonna do in there? I mean, if, if you saw me, would you beat the shit out of me? I'd probably rape you. You raped me? Yeah. So it's true, huh? A lot of guys turn gay in prison? I'm always gay. I only rape people in prison. You're gay? Yeah. This is a gay bar. Woo! Let's do this thing. Look, rape isn't an act of sex. Rape is an act of violence. And in prison society, it's all about violence. You're judged by how bad the other cons fear you. By raping a dude is the ultimate way of beating him down. It means you're one bad motherfucker. So, you rape people? Well, now that's something I'm not real proud of. I don't condone the practice, to be honest, but I do do it some, just to keep up with the Joneses. You know what I mean. Little dude like you, be an easy mark. Oh, Jesus. I mean, isn't there anything I could do? You join a gang? Are you a racist? Not really. And that leaves out the Nazis. Got any mob connections? No. Wouldn't have to be Latino, would you? Uh -uh. Looks like everybody's gonna rape you. Okay. Okay, I, I bet I can be a racist for three to five years. A real racist, hardcore. Well, good. Then you can join the Nazis. Excellent. Then you won't be raped by the other Nazis. Raped by Nazis? No way! Isn't there anything else I could do? Isn't there some way I can cultivate some kind of crazy outlaw image? You have to kill a dude. Without killing a dude? In your case, it'd be a real long shot, Stan. Wouldn't have to have any tats, would you? Tats? Ink. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't grow up with my mom, so I... When well, I was 18, I, I got a tattoo. Mommy. You might as well buy a welcome mat and strap it to your asshole. Say I'm open for business. <laughs> some orange juice. Mm. It was all a bad dream. Just a horrible dream. What was your dream, baby? It was awful. I was gonna go to prison, and big men were gonna rape me. But here I am, safe in my bed. It was all a bad dream. But you are gonna be going to prison, right? Huh? You're going to prison in six months. What's gonna happen, Mindy? Is my anus gonna grow teeth? No, silly. You'll find a way. You always do. What did you just say? You always find a way. That's right. I always do. My baby ready to eat breakfast? Mindy. Did I have a lot growing up? No, I did not. I had nothing growing up. I had a drunk father who was emotionally unavailable to me. I had a summer job at Dairy Queen. I had tomato soup for dinner. Nobody ever gave me anything. Truly, mine was a hard scrabble existence. Yet look at me today. I own a palatial estate. I drive a Lamborghini. I have a summer house on the lake. A complete Bang & Olufsen home theater system. A beautiful wife. And whom do I have to thank for all this stuff? Me. Nobody else. Me. I am a winner. I set my mind to do something, and I do.